hey guys welcome to my channel my name is adijat i'm a youtuber based in nigeria if this is your first time seeing any of my videos welcome guys and please click that subscribe button so today i'm doing a birthday glam on my friend <laughs> this video is very funny so without any other further talks let's just dive right into it first of all i'm using a spoolie to brush up our brows and using a new blade to cover our brows guys don't use one blade for two clients if there's a way you can actually break the blade into two fine you can but me i don't know how to if you want to follow the ladder make sure you can follow it very well low. After that, I'm using a brush to remove the residue air on her face to keep her face fresh. To clean the face, I'm using mismetic micellar water and mismetic cotton pad. Guys, usually I use uh, my angel face wipes and the micellar water. But I already forgot, I already took out the cotton pad, I already added micellar water to it. This is also another way of cleaning the client's face. And I use uh, my Marbudesco spray to spray the face. So for the skincare routine, I use my Blossom Serum. Guys, okay, see how she's doing, eh? Okay. So I shall use it. I'm going to massage it on her face very well. I don't really like using brush for this um, session. I use my hand to apply all these things so your hands needs to be clean okay but it's not all the clients that allow you to use their hands your hands are in their face next i'm using um moisturizer moisture portion for mismetic most of my products is from mismetic this brush is going everywhere on instagram it's crazy on instagram guys everybody's in it so you can see i'm um, applying it on the face I'm using my Meron skin prep with that cotton pad on her face to control the oil. Another primer I use is the Rimmel Stay Matte Primer. If you are um, consistent in watching my videos, you will know that i use this female steamer in fact it's almost finished but i'm just praying that it's not finished now because i'm gonna get a new one okay so that's my skin prep on a face i'm using nuban foundation the shade i think w10 or w18 I'm using classic to a mixed foundation on her face and I use the brush a small brush to apply it on her face before using this um, Kiss Beauty setting spray it's a lifesaver guys I use it on her face before using a beauty blender a clean beauty blender to blend it in
you see how my friend is using funny faces or this video like sometimes i'll just stop and laugh i'm very sure she was, she's going to see this video and see the way she's casting herself here guys please subscribe oh, if you have not subscribed and turn that turn on that notification bell okay For the concealer, I'm using Nubam in my skin concealers. I can't remember the um, the numbers right now, but that's the concealer I'm using. After applying the concealers, I'm using this tiny setting powder from Younger Beauty. It's not as if I refuse to buy um, the bigger one. This one, I got it from when I went for makeup fair the last time with my friend. So they gave us as PR, so I went to try it out. And this one is the last one, and I'm still going to get a new one for the concealer um for the contour i'm using this powder from frank and mcgiver's um cosmetic To powder the old face, I'm using um, Maybelline powder, super stay powder, I think, with um, a shade from the Franca Magdiva um, powder palette.
for the blush i'm using this eyeshadow palette from blossom beauty Time for the brows. I'm using edge control to tame the brows. Guys, I've gotten some brow tamer and I don't know, it has this, it later have this white, um, I don't even know, probably it has melted or there's something wrong with it. I don't know. But since I've been using this edge control, I've not been regretting it. Most makeup artists, that's what they use. Though. Let them know life for you. You can use your money to buy different, different kinds. Probably you should just try um edge control if it doesn't work out for you. Then you get a um another um brow tamer. So after that, I'm using this brush to apply um setting powder on it, and I'm using Davis pencil, a lifesaver, and very very cheap and affordable, you know, to draw the brows. To conceal the brows, I'm using two different kinds of concealer. I'm using the Nuban Skin, those two shades, and this LA Girl. I just got it. You can see that the water is just pouring. The water is pouring out of it. In case you don't know why water is pouring out of it, this um, concealer is a water-based and matte concealer you get. So it is expected for water to pour out of it. So don't be scared or don't say it's, um, it's fake. I've got so that's me oh and it seems my friend cooperated in this um process of drawing the brows and concealing it.
using a little a small blending brush to brush it like to blend it rather the inner corner and the outer corner first before the middle one you know the middle shade is lighter Next thing, I'm using um, the Benai eyeshadow primer. I've had this primer for like three years ago, and I've shared it for, I think I've shared it for close to like seven makeup artists, to both my colleagues and some makeup artists that I met when I went to work. And it's not finished, you know. It seems that it's, I'm going to be using it forever. I don't understand. But yeah, I love it so much. So that's what I'm using. For eyeshadow, I'm using this Tear Rubber. This new, this is my new eyeshadow palette from Blue Zone, African Queen. I don't think I opened like everything for you to see, but this is the nude um, side. It has three parts. So after applying it, I decided to use um, a little pigment or oh, is it glitters? Yep. And I use this powder, Nuban, uh, Nuban powder to set the highlighted area so that it will not be um, oily or so that it will be matte. <laughs> I'm using this brush to do the contour again 
because the eyeshadow has interrupted the pigmentation. This is the this is the part that my friend showed me Pepe guys. Okay, um she usually has um itchy eyes actually. So that's why I, I was being careful. So when I was doing this she shaked and the under eyeliner Kiss Beauty, I'm using Kiss Beauty, it stains the eyeshadow and I was so frustrated there. So I was wondering what I could do. So I just used my spoolie to like remove it from there and i used my hands to apply the eyeshadow primer a little bit before using the brush that i used to do the eyeshadow i applied a little bit of eyeshadow on it before now using the pigments or the glitters on it so you can see that it's a long process but then one essence of learning makeup is not only about okay you are learning the makeup and to be very fine you should know how to correct your mistakes because if there are some people that don't really know how to do this thing they want to like clean the eyeshadow and redo it again and do you know that's like the longest process ever I'm going to be smudging the um, under eye with this brown eyeshadow shade and I'm being very careful you know her eyes is very very sensitive okay so I'm just doing it little by little I'm using um, the Blossom 2-in-1 mascara. I have a lot of Blossom pr products though. Yeah. For my eyeliner, I'm using MAC Brook eyeliner. I'm using chill lashes. I already use classic um, eyelashes glue on it and it has dried a bit before applying it to it. I sorry guys, I forgot to like make a video of it, but it's the classic glue and chill lashes. C H E E lashes on Instagram. You can order yours from there. To avoid um, space between your real eyelashes and the fake one um i usually use this under eyeliner to darken it and also press it with my fingers
for the lip i'm using eye magic lip palette this palette is another thing is one of my go-to um lip palettes The inner lip, I'm using this um, nude shade from Beyond Beauty BB. Don't forget to blend your lip, guys. Don't forget, like, don't do the mistake. Please, don't forget to. I use my Bodesco spray and Kiss Beauty um, setting spray. Or is it fix spray? Then I applied gloss to her lips to keep it shiny. You know, shine bright like a diamond. Yeah, that's how it should be shining. So I'm using a cheek glaze. Um, sorry, I didn't also make a video of it, but it's from TM Essential. The white one is transparent. So that's the cheek glaze I used here for the bronzer. I don't know sometimes i use bronzer then later i use the um cheek glaze sometimes i use cheek glaze and i use bronzer so it depends though on the first one on and on what i want to do okay so yeah you can see that my front is looking so beautiful oh. if you have any questions or you like my job please drop comments just engage okay yeah so i use this um the white pigment or glitters is combination of pigment and glitters on the parts after a uh, eyebrow yep so that's basically it this is the finished look this is the full face nude birthday glam and my friend is looking like somebody that just came from the abroad okay thanks for watching guys please click that subscribe button i wanted to show you my lighting setup this is the light i have this is my room i have some lights in the studio yep so that's it thanks for watching guys bye